Hi, my name is Arch, and this is my tiny house office. I built it during the pandemic. It was so much fun that I decided to build another tiny house cabin down on a property that my brother and I own in southern Ohio. I documented the process, so join me along my journey to build this off-grid tiny house cabin out of reclaimed materials and learn some new things along with me. Welcome to my neck of the woods. All right, hello and welcome to My Neck of the Woods. My name is Arch and I'm your host and uh, this is the uh, tiny house. So uh, if you're just new to the channel and you're just starting to watch, then please check out some of my other videos where we're uh, basically building the cabin and getting it ready. And I'm really excited because today is the day before hunting season. And so tomorrow deer gun season starts in Ohio and I'm going to be using this cabin probably to sleep and hunt from. So uh, this is pretty exciting for me because usually I'm just sitting out, uh, you know, in the cold and we built it so that it was in a good spot so that we can actually see some deer. So I'm really excited to uh, try that out, but um, I need to get it ready a little bit. So I brought some supplies and things and I also would love to try to get it painted while I'm here. So I think I'm going to try to get that done today which I know isn't the most riveting, uh, you know, kind of uh, YouTube uh, <laughs> stuff, but I do want to try to get that painted, so I'll try to, um, you know, make it look a little bit better for you. So um, thanks and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, we're gonna get some gray paint here, I guess, and apply that to the cabin, and we'll see what it looks like when we're done. I do have a uh, cool tool that I brought with me. Uh, it's a magic paintbrush, and I borrowed this from my buddy Mike from uh, a cabin in 50 acres. And uh, he has a magic hammer, but uh, I don't think he told people he also has a magic paintbrush. So uh, if you check this out, it's pretty cool. All I gotta do. There we go. All done. That was fast. Thanks, Mike. All right, so I'm just kidding. I, I painted this myself. So uh, I'm going to uh, get started on painting now. And if you enjoy watching painting, this is going to be a great episode for you. If you don't, don't worry. I don't do it very long. All right, so my camera went off uh, while I was painting, but I got it done uh, on the front. So we just got three more sides to go. All right, so obviously I don't have a magic paintbrush, but I did manage to get this painted. It took maybe an hour and a half or so, so not too bad. And less than one can of paint, so I've still got some left over if, in case anybody needs some, so just let me know. And I uh, really appreciate uh, Zach getting that paint for me. I think it looks pretty good, so I'm uh, pretty happy with the way it turned out. Let's take a look. 
All right, so here's what it looks like now. Uh, much, much cleaner. I love the look. It looks kind of sleek and the fact that it's all one color is really nice. So I like the way it turned out. All right, so we got it all painted. So let's go ahead and grab our stuff and take it inside and I'll show you inside what it looks like. As you can see, we've got some cushions in, and so we've got kind of a little makeshift couch here now. The uh, cushions just got in the other day, and they will be nice for both the couch and when you turn it into a bunk bed. Now, I realized I did not get a great video of me turning this into a bunk bed, so let me show you how it works. All right, so what's great about these is that these uh, cushions serve as both the couch cu couch cushions and the bed cushions. And so I want to show you how the bed works and um, I will just quickly demonstrate. So let's take this uh, blanket down a little bit. Now, all you got to do, I haven't done this with cushions yet, so that's a little bit more difficult. But uh, all you gotta do is pull this bottom one out. These just hook right in very easily. And then now we've got a, a top bunk. And so uh, we can throw the cushion up there. Got a nice, uh, got a nice place to sleep now. So I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. It really wasn't too difficult of a build. Uh, it was just, you know, figuring out the design so that we could figure out how it works. And then when you're done with this, you simply unhook these. Fold it back down. Throw this back up. And now I've got a couch again. So I really love the, the design of this. It's something that uh, we were able to come up with kind of uh, after looking at a lot of different designs. And it really suits the space really well because it, you know, folds up, folds away, and turns into a couch. And then you can have two people sleep here. And then if you have the hammock out, you can actually see three, so it's quite spacious, despite the fact that it's only about 64 square feet. All right, so I brought up a lot of supplies because it was hunting season tomorrow. So this is me getting ready to sleep in the tiny house for the second time ever. All right, so short episode, but that's it for this episode, and I appreciate you watching. Tune in next time, and hopefully we'll have a good hunting story to tell you. So uh enjoy and uh thanks for visiting my neck of the woods if you enjoyed this show please like and subscribe and hit notify so that you know about future episodes and thanks so much for watching take care everybody